smoky freezing this morning, guys. It's like 40, 50 degrees. That's cold for California. Oh, hell no. You guys see this? Oh, hell no. Nope. Really hope this thing has some freaking ED5 in it right now because honestly, I don't remember the last time I put gas in it per usual. About to find out. It's freaking freezing in this car right now, but what's going on guys? Hope you guys are all doing well. Today it's like a 40, 50 degree morning in California, which might not seem like much, but when it's summer nine months out of the year, that's freaking freezing. Uh, we're gonna start this thing up. We have a super exciting cars and coffee event to go to. It's a toy drive, it's December. Uh, we'll talk more details in a bit. Let's get this thing fired up. Ooh, the battery sounded kind of weak. I do not like that. Still fired up, thank God, but look at that, we got some E85 in there. Woo! Also, thank you to everybody who kind of commented about the idea of making the vision surgery soon. I'm gonna make the surgery very soon for you guys. There's a lot of people who messaged me on Instagram, like all these people that basically said that they depend on glasses and contacts and that they're super blind and they would actually get a lot of value of making the vision surgery. So we're gonna make that very, very soon. But uh, for now, Crank this heater up, boy. Your boy is freaking dying right now. All right, getting the morning started right, boys. Today's video is brought to you by Target. Everything you need in one place and more. Just kidding, guys. Unlucky kid is gonna get my favorite monster truck ever, Grave Digger. If you live in the area of gone to Monster Jam, I feel like Grave Digger doesn't really need an exclamation. Also, random side note, I never knew that this looks exactly like the car that's in Mad Max Fury Road. But as I mentioned before, it is a toy drive, so we had to pick up a toy real quick before the event. Running a little late, we'll probably be there like half an hour, which is typical. But right now we gotta go home, pick up my girl, and then we're literally gonna roll out to the biggest Toyota Lexus dealership in America, which is pretty crazy. I like that like the event's being hosted there because it just like, not only is it a really big event and I saw it's gonna be tons of cars, but it's also at a really cool dealership, which if you guys don't know, I do work at dealerships. I work at Toyota and I've worked for car dealerships for about 10 years. So it's just like a random niche that I'm stoked to combine both worlds of like, kind of like my work world and also go see some cool cars. What do you think of the toy? It's cool. next to this old FJ maybe? I don't even know what it is, but check this out guys. This dude's got car seats in the back. My man Wilden. This is crazy. I like the steering wheel on this thing. It's sick. This old Celica is so gangster. Super clean MR2. Look at this thing though. This thing is absolutely insane guys. So clean. And it's right hand drive. I would love one of these. These are way too expensive. I love all the XBs here too. Super sick. I literally had to use the restroom since we got here, but that's kind of crazy being back here because if you guys don't know, this is like the first dealership I worked at when I was 18. And it's like really weird to see the place. What do you think about it? It's nice. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Like it. Only, only me, who works at a car dealership, would come to another car dealership on my day off. I don't know if these are out yet, the new GX or not. I don't know if this is like an actual like demo car that Longo has, or this is actually one for sale, but this is pretty crazy to see. I like it. This is crazy, crazy looking inside. 
This thing's nice. Damn. This is like the definition of a sleeper, guys. Look at this. NAT, turbo build, GS. You would never think that the thing is turbo, just looking at it from the outside. I don't think I've ever seen this in my life, guys. A Honda motor in a Lexus. This is actually kind of crazy. What the heck? I've also never seen a 1J swap GS. Damn, this thing is sick. Wow. People brought out the heat with the swaps today. I like that they put this Ferris wheel on the reindeer roller coaster. Someone tell me if that's like the first K-swapped IS300 because I never knew that was actually a thing. I know people are putting K-swaps in everything because the engines are cheap and you can buy them way cheaper than pretty much any other reliable Japanese motor for sale right now, but let me know guys if you've seen more K-swaps in IS300s. Clean MR2, some Mark IVs. Damn, these things are sick. I have a whole host of modified hatches out here today. And of course, lots of GRs, because that's what this meet is for. It's for GR movement. I don't know if I said that earlier in the video, but damn, these things look so fun. Just grippy tires, good suspension setup in the canyon. It's gotta be a blast driving these. Love this color on the GR too. So good. This would be like a dream daily driver. If I was balling, I would have a GR Corolla daily. This thing is so sick, guys. Mark V Supras are so underrated. If you guys don't like them and call them Z4s, you guys don't know what you're missing out on. Because once you experience the B58, you realize that Toyota and BMW killed it on these cars. The array of different white Mark V Supras is tripping me out. This is like the best white white or true white one. I love this black Mark V that's got like the Mark IV TRD wing on it. That's like the best look for these cars. I don't care what anyone says. The Mark IV wing on the Mark V is good. You guys have seen this S2000 a couple times in my videos. Things so sick. Pole positions, cut bumper, arrow. I want you. Come home. So we got the old and the new side by side. Let me know which one you guys like more. I think Toyota is killing it with the GR86. But look at this, guys. The amount of swapped motor cars here. I've never seen so many in my life. Like, we got an FD, right? This is clearly not a rotary engine, if you guys know anything about these cars. My man got a Jay-Z swapped FD. This is really crazy, like, how many of these swaps are, like, floating around. One of the cleanest 300ZXs I've ever seen. Got another Evo buddy, Evo 10. This dude thinks he's gonna get some pollen out of that car. This is low-key one of the sickest colors for the GT86. I love this thing. Looks so fun, it'd be so good on a track. Well, guys, no pun intended, not even trying to be funny, but someone tell me, what's the retail on one of those? More than we can definitely afford Because, now. yeah, definitely more than we can <laughs> afford, because this thing looks very expensive. Whoever owns this, I don't know much about Impalas. I have a friend with a Caprice, which people mistaken for an Impala. But this thing is super, super duper duper nice. Wow. I got the XB straight out of Japan. This thing is crazy. What the heck? Look, he's got some drinks in there. What kind of drinks he's got? I don't know. Oh, the I bubble like knob. I like this one. Damn, this thing is crazy. It has this, look at it. Has look at, the little things in the back. It's got the curtains. You know, Rolls Royces back then, they used to come with magnetic shot glasses. And this kind of reminds you of that. This SCI is gangster, guys. I love it. Damn. We left the show. Shout out to Longo Lexus and Toyota for hosting that. Some K Blue SoCal and GR Movement are the ones who put it together. I really hope that some kid gets that toy and I don't know, makes their Christmas better because it's sad that some kids don't really get to have a Christmas, you know. Especially right now, there's there's a lot of people who are struggling, guys. Like a lot of people who are struggling. Like everything's really expensive right now. 
especially in California. It's always been expensive, but gas is five bucks. Mortgages are fifty-two hundred a month. You know, it's it's insane that people are still getting by. But uh, right now we're about to head home. I don't know what else we're gonna do. We're probably gonna set up the tree, right? You said. Yeah, we gotta decorate. And uh, yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your favorite car that you saw in the video at the show. And uh, now we're gonna follow this purple Maserati home. So some of you guys are probably wondering where we went. If you guys live in California, you guys probably already know the name Portos. I think they may be in other states or I don't know, but if ever you guys come to California, we're going to unbox and show you guys what's in here. But this is what you need to try right here. It's a Cuban bakery. They also have sandwiches and things like that. Myself, another coffee, which I totally shouldn't have gotten, as you guys saw in the previous part of the video. I already got one, but this looked really good and actually tastes really, really good. I feel like I'm just getting at the point where I don't really like Starbucks all that much. And I know there's a whole political host of things if you guys seen that people are boycotting Starbucks. I'm not going to really get into that. But if you guys have a coffee place or coffee recommend trying that isn't Starbucks, please comment down below. I'm really eager to see what you guys drink for coffee. For now, I overpaid with my $5 pumpkin spice latte. But it's pretty damn good. Cuban sandwich. Plantain chips. This is the true magic right here. The lighting is terrible, but this is a potato ball. It's got beef inside. What else would you tell people about it? Would they need to eat it? Yeah, if you guys visit, get the potato ball, mm -hmm. get the cheese rolls. The sandwiches are really, really good. Actually, the everything is really, really good. About to enjoy this food, and we're also gonna watch. If you guys know, you know. Let's see if this lives up to the hype. I'll report back to you guys in a bit. hours later uh, I knocked out I was super tired from this morning waking up early just this past work week has killed me but right now we're on the way to hopefully find some more stuff to add to the Christmas village that Alexis and I are putting together I haven't shown you guys any of it yet but hopefully right now we can get some extra stuff to add to the village and I'm gonna show you guys before that Lights, right? I'm telling Alexis we need an LED toilet light. No? No LED toilet light? I mean, if you can't see the toilet, if you want, if you're gonna miss, get it. No. In the dark. Guys, I think we've gone lucky and found where we can add to my village. This is so far so good. They got little reindeers. Cool. All right, so we're back from Big Lots, had some dinner, and I actually just finished up. Gran Turismo and the final thoughts guys is I think it was a really good movie I would definitely recommend checking it out you said you liked it too right yeah it was 10 out of 10 I really think it, good. I think it was really good I thought honestly I genuinely thought it wasn't gonna be that good of a movie but it actually was like I feel like one of those lower budget movies ended up being really good it had good actors like David Harbour and a good story and it actually was based on a true story which I wasn't expecting but we got the tree set up here I'm about to shut it down in a bit. I just wanted to show you guys some of the ornaments we have on it. Recognize this one. This is one of the newer ones we got from Big Lots. Now uh, we have a couple old ones. Like this one is from last year. And uh, there's a couple other things we haven't really brought out. I have a coffee lighthouse that lights up, which we're gonna show you guys a little village I've been working on. Some of you guys are probably wondering, Josh, why in the hell are you doing a Christmas village? Why does it matter? Honestly guys, with time, I've never really been into the holidays, I've never really done a lot, and with age, I just feel like, I don't know, now I kind of have the opportunity to partake in holidays, which before I didn't, you know, growing up super poor, I didn't really, I mean, we had a Christmas tree and stuff, but it wasn't like I got to like go all out on Christmas, you know, and this by no means is going all out, but little by little we're getting to enjoy Christmas more. 
and I really like it. I don't know. I just think it's cool. I got the light up church. These, where did we get the trees from? The Dollar Tree. Those are from the Dollar Tree? Yeah. And that's another thing too, guys. We're trying to build the house or the village on a budget, not trying to go crazy. No crazy steam engine choo-choo train going around the apartment or anything. No. As, as much as I'd love to do that, but just... The cats would destroy it. Yes, the cats destroy would destroy it. But, yeah, I'm slowly getting there. Got a random moose, reindeer. We'll add more. We kind of want to do something with the hallway. We kind of wanted to do the floating candles that uh, Harry Potter has, but we're scared of the cats trying to jump on this and then try to jump basically on the ceiling. And also, you said they have their own power source, right? I believe so. I think that's what Daniel said. Yeah, you could use your phone to turn them on. Yeah. Oh, really? Like Bluetooth. Oh, that's kind of cool. Huh. Yeah, but we'll, we'll see. I'll update you guys as, as it goes along. I should have gotten a time lapse when we set up the tree. But for now, guys, this will do. You kind of have the idea of how it sits. And you got to have the star on the top or something on the top. Some special ornament to complete the look. But um, I'm pretty happy with it. It's cool to have it. This is also something new we got from Big Lots. Oh, reindeer are my favorite. Oh, yeah, and the sparkly reindeer the they as shine well. With the lights. Oh, cool. And um, in case you guys are wondering, Big Lots, the dollar store. We did have some fake snow from Target initially, but it got ruined. Apparently there's like a Target house, like these guys, rolling around, but like impossible to find according to the workers. They sell it really quick. Yeah. But um, I'll update you guys more at the village. I don't know. Maybe we'll we'll fill up from wall to wall. That would be cool. Yeah, we'll have nice fancy glass ones in the future. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but for now, these are fine. I love these. If you guys want to see more of the Christmas village, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys have a Christmas village, please let me know where you get your stuff from. All right, Mr. Nomi. Mr. Nomi, tell him. Can you put on a show for him? Put on a show? She got orders tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah? She's got bread to make? Yeah. Unfortunately, guys, it's going to close out today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Shout out again to Sonke Blue SoCal, Longo Toyota, GR Movement for making today's toy drive and car meet possible. One of the best big events I've been to in a long time. Lots of cool cars, lots of quality cars. And they, they honestly arranged it really nice. There was like a lot of food things there. Uh, people obviously uh, like vendors, people doing their own kind of small business advertising I would say at the meet. I appreciate all the love that's been on the past couple of videos. We're still going to make the video talking about the eye surgery very soon. I'm just kind of waiting for like my eyes to like heal up a little more so I can like really give an accurate timeline of day one when I had the surgery to basically I would say probably like three weeks post-op right now in two weeks so maybe in like another week or so. I'm going to make a really inf informational video talking about the different kind of eye surgeries just to touch base on them. You know, there's PRK, there's Smile, there's LASIK. There's so many of them out there. Uh, ICL, which is like a lens implant. But we'll touch base that on another video. I hope you guys are all having a great holiday and uh, just enjoy time with your friends and family. And even if you're not doing that well financially or emotionally, spiritually, things like that, just know that you can still find a way to enjoy the holidays. Because honestly, like I said, I grew up super poor. Didn't have a ton of things growing up. And, you know, that never... I tried to, like, never really let that bring me down. So if you're watching this and you're going through a tough time, just know that you can also find a silver lining in the negative thing that you're basically going through. So anyway, guys, it's super late. I got to wake up early for work tomorrow. That's where I'm going to end today's video. Thank you guys so much for tagging along. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more car content coming your guys' way. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.